Hello everyone. Today is World Speech Day and it's a great time to celebrate speeches and speech making and to honor speeches for being the oldest medium of mass communication. Of course we have social media today but through times speeches have been used for that. Speeches change the world. And it is this idea that inspired Simon Gibson to establish World Speech Day in 2015 and the not-for-profit organization of the same name. And yes, I have learned through a lot of pain that mastering the art of public speaking changed my world in ways I could have never imagined. For sure, I've invested a lot of time, money, and energy to master the art of public speaking. And in doing so, I had the opportunity to share my ideas and insights on stages worldwide and at private events, included United Nations headquarters in New York, Cranfield School of Management, the Rotary Club, the famous PSA, leadership and business shows in London, the Body, Mind and Spirit, the TEDx platform where my talk has had over a million views. Many of us public speakers understand that even though not everyone is gifted with the talent of public speaking, we all have something important to contribute to society and we all can learn and master the art of public speaking. Why World Speech Day is important, you may ask. Firstly, because every speech matters. Many times we shy away from potential, from unleashing our potential, from when we give in to cynicism. The World Speech Day urges to take down our inner walls of shame and fear and emerge from our shell. And today on March 15, you are encouraged to take the microphone, the camera and share your thoughts with the world as I'm doing right now. Number two, speeches change the world and it changes everything about the world. In today's world of fancy branches, social media, shaky diplomatic ties, war, a speech can make a break the world order. When wielded with caution, a speech holds the power to bring forth solutions to many problems such as world hunger, climate change, gender equality, uh, war in Ukraine, Brexit problems, all of those things. And number three, we need unexpected voices. Now, Simon Gibson founded the day to draw unexpected voices in. It is his cardinal belief that the key to progress is held by the most unexpected people. Through public speaking, these people will find their voices and free us all. It's something that helped me and I know it has helped many of you. Um, thank you for joining me on this broadcast. I also believe in speeches power to bring communities together and spread positive ideas for a positive world. I believe in human progress fired by new ideas. And that progress is never linear. We must reach out to unexpected voices everywhere from all walks of life. And anyone can host a World Speech Day event and anyone can speak. It is why I went on camera so I can encourage more of you to do the same. Today is all about reaching out to unexpected voices from everywhere, from middle school classrooms to community halls, universities, think tanks, multinational companies, democracy forums, and the observations has inspired millions to let go of fear and embrace the power of their authentic voice. Over the years, I've had helped over thousands of people to get in touch with their true authentic self, their authentic voice, which when discovered 
can guide you to your most outmost potential. I have helped many clients in the last three decades. But today on this World Speech Day, I would love to mention Paul McMonagall, who, despite all the battles he faced, the judgments, the uh, cynicism, he remained committed in the last eight years to his self-development journey and to finding his authentic voice. Together we achieved what many now call a miracle. He has overcome many mental health uh, issues and OCD conditions and is free of epilepsy. And now he uses his voice, being an ambassador for the teachings I've developed over 30 years, but also for better mental health in oil and gas industry. The other client I would love to mention is uh, Dr. Garbelli, who recently published his book, The Doctor's Voice. After seven years of focused coaching and mentoring, training, vital planning around the world, um, he got inspired to giving doctors a voice to make a difference within the NHS system and in healthcare organizations around the world. And the doctors today are on strike. And I believe, firmly believe, they deserve not twice, three times, five times the salary. In reality, no matter what issues I help clients address and solve, it all comes down to their authentic voice and truth being heard, first and foremost by themselves and others. It inspired me to write all of my books, but especially The Unfakeable Code, to take back mental, emotional control, lead authentically and live freely on your terms, to help people to lead, live and love with authenticity and integrity, to bring that voice out. A stage can be intimidating space to voice your opinions, but that should be a barrier, should never be a barrier to communication, to sharing your idea. A thought and a dream can become a revolution with the power of a speech. We have seen this through history, how one speech can change the world. I have received over 3,000 testimonials, uh, personal letters and messages from satisfied clients whose lives have changed simply with the power of speech. If I can, I know that you too can use the voice, your authentic voice to make a difference, especially today on March 15. You have a platform to voice your opinions. So go on social media, in your school, at home, in your business, at work, socially, in your family, on TV, radio, on podcasts, and voice your opinion, but mindfully. You never know. One day, you too, like me, may receive a thank you letter because your voice and what you had to say changed someone's life. Now, over the years, I have equipped many of my clients with public speaking tools and through my books with methods for self-growth, self-development, self-mastery, self-confidence. Having overcome many life challenges, I decided to dedicate my life's work to finding the most effective, the most efficient way to help people solve personal, relationship, professional, uh, business, financial, and leadership challenges and problems. So they truly can step into their fullest potential. Now, I decided to publish a path to wisdom, hashtag loneliness, Fit for Purpose Leadership, The Unfakeable Code, Novum Tam, which is a selection of spiritually channeled poems, and my latest book, A Path to Excellence, so more of you can overcome the battles life throws at you, to feel more empowered, more clean, more clear, to awaken your authentic voice, your truth, to take back those mental and emotional states and to take back control of your financial states and also contribute positively to making a significant difference in the world. Together, we can make the world a better place through public speaking, through speech making, because it's this integral part of our culture as it allows us to express ourselves in front of others. It's also an excellent way to connect and learn from one another. 
Imagine the world we can create when we do that, when we communicate mindfully. By using speeches, we can create positive change in our society by inspiring people to take action or calling attention to issues that need addressing. This was the case with Gary Lanneker this week, where he voiced his opinions around migration. We can use public speaking for good by raising awareness about important issues, such as poverty, the inequality, such as climate change, racism, sexism, xenophobia, Islamophobia, homophobia, anti-Semitism, women's rights, equal pay, the doctor space, which is a major topic this week, the impact of significant decisions that has on our economy, on our lives, such as Brexit. Rising far right and far left politicians and the issues they bring along. Saying no to inhumane immigration policies, protecting freedom of speech to wars and energy crisis and so much more. It sometimes feels like we look out on a world beset by insurmountable problems. But I believe, and I know in my heart, together we can create the solutions that make the world a better place. That we can leave a world to future generations that they are proud of what we have accomplished now. But if we believe in humanity and the pursuit of happiness and progress for the common good, we also recognize that we have the tools to make all these challenges find solution to those problems. We do have shared values, we do have hopes, we do have ideas, we do have imaginations for new ways to live and come together, new vistas onto a brighter future. It is healthy to have empowered conversations about these topics so that people are informed and inspired to make the world better. Another way we can use public speaking for good is by celebrating diversity and promoting acceptance of different cultures around the globe. This happened at the Oscars this year and it was incredible to observe that. Through mindful communication, we can encourage people from all backgrounds and beliefs to share their stories so that everyone feels included, regardless of their identity or background. Finally, let's not forget why we are here today, to celebrate speeches and public speaking. Let's encourage young people, mothers, sisters, brothers, colleagues, partners, to be interested in making speeches or writing them down so one day they can look back at them years later when they have made progress towards achieving their goals. I, I did this process 15 years ago and I'm astonished at what has happened in just 15 years. And if you know someone who might benefit from making a speech but feels uncomfortable doing it alone, offer your support. If you want or they want to deliver an important keynote, encourage them to email my PA at info at so I can help them get the clarity, create and deliver an engaging talk that makes a difference and makes an impact and positively influences people or the ideas they want to push forward. You never know what impact you could have on someone else's life simply by offering your help or guidance during this process. So I would love to encourage more of you to get out there today on World Speech Day. Spread positivity through your words. You can say grateful things for the people who have helped you, inspire others, raise awareness for global issues, promote cultural understanding, promote education, promote coaching if I've helped you as a coach, stand up against intolerance, inequality, encourage creativity within yourself and most importantly, keep celebrating those fantastic moments when somebody stands up in front of an audience ready to deliver something 
special. Because those moments will stay with you forever. Today, as we celebrate World Speech Day, here is one idea for a better world worth spreading. Our shared ideas, solutions, can build a better world. All it takes is a voice, one voice. So let your heart be the only military commander you need to win every battle in life. This is the principle number five from the Unfakeable Code book. In this book, you will find four more principles to guide you in how to take mental and emotional control of your life, how to let go of the scarcity persona, how to really go through the challenges that life throws at you in your personal life, relationship, and how to, and financially in your career, and how to use the five-step method to be able to reduce the stress uh, that may stop you from confidently moving forward. Not only that, but this year I also published a path to excellence, and I believe excellence is the way forward. When you invest in your excellence, when you invest in your mind, you're investing in creating uh, interest, dividends uh, for the rest of your life. So I would love to say thank you and I love you.